How could the Earth's circumference be measured in ancient times? Just as Thales measured the height of the Great Pyramid with a stick, so Eratosthenes measured the Earth's circumference by using a stick too. Eratosthenes was a mathematician, geographer, poet, astronomer and music theorist. In 245 BC, he became chief librarian at the Great Library of Alexandria. He described how he carried out his famous measurement in his book on the measure of the Earth. Unfortunately, the book was lost in time. But Cleomedes, a Greek astronomer, wrote about Erastothene's method in his own book on the circular motions of the celestial bodies. According to Cleomedes, one day Eratosthenes read a scroll in the library which said, In Syene, a city to the south of Alexandria, at noon, on the summer solstice, the sun could be seen from the bottom of a deep well, and the pillars of temples cast no shadows. That meant the sun was directly overhead. Eratosthenes wondered if this was also true in Alexandria, so he planted a stick in the ground at noon on the summer solstice and saw there was a shadow. He asked himself why shadows were cast in Alexandria, but not in Syene. There was just one possible explanation. The earth was round. That idea had already been suggested by some prominent thinkers such as Pythagoras and Aristotle, so it wasn't a surprise. But Eratosthenes figured out he could measure the Earth's circumference by using shadows. He measured the angle between the sun's rays and the stick and found it to be 7.2 degrees. Then he hired a bematist, a specialist at measuring distances by counting steps to determine the distance between Alexandria and Syene. The Bematist walked to Syene and back and found the distance between the two cities to be 5,000 stadia, which is about 800 kilometers or 497 miles. After that, Eratosthenes made a simple calculation. If 7.2 degrees is equivalent to 800 kilometers, then 360 degrees is equivalent to what? The result was 40,000 kilometers. Today we know the Earth's circumference to be 40,075 kilometers or 24,901 miles, a difference of just 0.2 percent. Like Eratosthenes, Thales, Zhang Heng, Fraunhofer and others, we don't always need modern technology to make important breakthroughs. Sometimes all we need are curiosity, simple experiments and a little bit of insight. <laughs>